Hello guys and welcome to yet another in-depth review here on NNT Auto Reviews. My name is Tyler as always. Today I am extremely excited to give you a review of this absolutely gorgeous car. And it is of course the 2017 Cadillac CTS-V. Now before we get started, I'd like to give a very special thanks out to Valenti Cadillac in Hartford, Connecticut for making this video possible. And check out the description box where I've listed their website. Alright, so now let's go ahead and take a look at the window sticker and see what kind of options this car has. Very, very loaded car, so there's a lot of options added onto this. We do have that advanced security package, which gives you a bunch of, obviously, security features. Um, we also have a carbon fiber package, which absolutely um, beautifies this car to the fullest extent. You will get to see those carbon fiber elements a little bit later in the video. Um, that option is quite expensive though at $6,250. Before that, we or underneath that, we have the Recaro High Performance Seats. Uh, we also have um, the Luxury Package, which gives us obviously some pretty cool luxury features. Again, we will see those features a little bit later in the video. Now taking a look over here, we have the uh, Performance Data Recorder, which is almost a must for this car. We also have the Panoramic Sunroof. Uh, your gas guzzler tax, of course, has to come with this car. You have the 19-inch wheels. They are um, in a painted color. We also have a dark gold Brembo brake calipers. We have the all-weather matte protection package. And we also have the um, premium carpeted floor mats as well. Now that with the destination gives us a total price of $104,190. Now we can choose between six different paint colors. This one is absolutely my favorite and it is the, called the Phantom Gray Metallic. And in case you're wondering, the wheelbase stands at 114.6 inches. Now looking at this car from pretty much angle is just an absolutely gorgeous sight, but as far as our drivetrain configurations go, you can only get the CTS-V in, in rear-wheel drive, rather. Alright, so now we can go ahead and get into the nitty-gritty, the details of this car, and we can start with the headlamps. Now headlamps, we have HID projector bulbs, and those projector bulbs are used both for your high and low beams. We have LED turn signals down below. We also have LED daytime running lights. Those circles you see on the front bumper are parking sensors. Giant air intakes to cool that 6.2 liter supercharged engine. Take a look at the carbon fiber work. Now that is part of the carbon fiber package. You have a splitter down there, completely finished in carbon fiber. Beautiful front grille. You have some really nice uh, sort of satin chrome, I guess you could say. Really nice mesh in the center as well. You can kind of see the intercooler and the lower part of the grill for the supercharger. And you could also make out these uh, cameras. There's one there and then one on the other side underneath the lip right there. And that is for uh, your curb view cameras so you don't ruin that beautiful carbon fiber when you're parking the car. So looking at the outside of the carbon fiber hood, you could barely tell that it's, uh, it is painted. We also, but we do have these exposed carbon fiber slats there for our heat extractor. Now taking a look down here, we have 19 inch wheels, absolutely gorgeous. Um, you get these wheels on all CTSVs, but you can get three different paint options. This paint is called the After Midnight. Looks beautiful. Very large ventilated disc brakes. Six piston calipers up front. And you could also see that dark gold um, painted caliper and option. It even has a little V there on one of the spokes. Front tires measure 265.35. Beautiful. Some more uh, ventilation or heat extraction. The V emblem. Now in case you're not too familiar with Cadillac, V is their performance division. Beautiful mirrors. Uh, combination of body color, gloss black, and a little bit of chrome. 
you have your LED turn signals as well as your blind spot indication on that as well. Now going all the way around the windows you have a combination of a satin uh, chrome color and you also have uh, gloss black. Looks very nice. And kind of get a better view of that um, blind spot indication right there. So these door handles are pretty special. Uh, not only does it have the uh, keyless open, it also has an LED light strip. So at night, you'll be able to see those door handles. They'll light up nice and bright. We'll get into that keyless uh, opening sh shortly in the video. Up top, we see that double sunroof or panoramic sunroof. Shark fin antenna. Back here, our tires are a little bit wider than up front. Also, four piston calipers uh, back here. Ventilated disc brakes, of course. Uh, 29530 are the tires back here. Now, I'll just kind of go underneath the car a little bit just to see how wide the tires are. You can also see that carbon fiber element right down there as well. Beautiful. This car is just gorgeous from every angle. Very large carbon fiber spoiler, absolutely gorgeous. Take a look at that in the light. Got our CTS logo back here. Nice use of satin uh, chrome. We have full LED tail lamps. Parking sensors again back here, those circles on the bumper. Quad exhaust tips surrounded by that carbon fiber diffuser and our reverse lights are right in the center right there. So you are seeing two cameras back there. One is for your rear view camera mirror and one is just a normal backup camera. And we will get into that rear view camera mirror. It's one of my favorite elements and uh, a lot of the GM uh, pr products nowadays are starting to get them. Cadillac embroidered right there in the back and your V emblem again. Alright, so now let's go ahead and pop the hood. So, powering this beautiful beast of a car is the awesome 6.2 liter supercharged V8 LT4. Same engine we're going to see in the new ZL1 that we filmed earlier, as well as the um, Corvette Z06. Now, power, it comes in at 640 horsepower at 6400 RPM and 630 pound-feet of torque at 3600 RPM. You see the supercharger pulley right there and the supercharger is right up top there. You can see that big strut brace going along the top of the engine as well. Very beautiful power plant, sounds equally as menacing as the car looks. Now if you look at the underside of the hood, we can see that it is a carbon fiber hood, which is really cool. Also functional heat extractors are on the hood as well. Alright, so now like we can go ahead and take a look at the interior, but not before checking out that smart key entry system like I promised you earlier. So how this works is basically um, how every other GM system works. Make sure your key fob is in your pocket. The uh, car is unlocked right now. All you need to do to lock it is just tap that button right there. All four doors are now locked, but if you want to get back in, all you have to do is tap that button again and the doors will unlock. So jet black interior here one of two colors with the Recaro seats you could all you can get um, one more color choice if you get the standard performance seats so taking a look at the door panel beautiful combination of um, leather up here it's all soft touch you have suede 
this gorgeous carbon fiber pattern right here a little bit of dark chrome absolutely love that dark chrome on your door handle as well lock unlock memory you also have your easy exit mode so that works with the seat and the steering wheel puts the steering wheel upwards and the seat backwards so you can um, easily exit the vehicle so we have a couple of speaker grills on the door and that is for your 13 speaker Bose Centerpoint surround sound system sounds amazing so nice soft uh, door panels right here it is even soft touch all the way down here which you don't see on a lot of cars so that just shows the level of quality of this car so window lockout front and rear windows and your mirror controls right there beautiful door sills with the V logo So taking a look at the left of the dash, you have some more carbon fiber accents, some suede, and a little bit of leather. Take a look at that perforated leather right up here though, on top of the speedometer and your gauges. So we have an electronic parking brake right over here, heads up display controls, gauge dimmer. Down here we have our hood release, nice dead pedal, and the pedals also have this nice uh, satin metal look and then there is rubber on the face of the pedals so you don't lose your grip. Button in carpeted floor mats with the V logo. Beautiful attention to detail on this car, it really is. Now before we get in, I wanna show you the power tilt telescoping steering wheel. So this is the control right here. You can go up, down, in and out. Very neat, um, convenient feature for when you're driving. So now take a look at these seats. 16 way power adjustable Recaro performance seat. You've got the V logo and your Recaro. Now we have leather going around the outside of the seats and then a suede on the middle portion. And it also is perforated in the middle as well. So again, 16 way power adjustable. You have four way lumbar. Very, very supportive seats with these big uh, bolsters on the bottom cushion and on the top cushion there so now let's go ahead and hop in start it up and check out the rest of the interior I love the way the doors sound when they close very high quality sound So here's the key fob that you get with this vehicle. Really nice quality key fob. Nice soft touch materials on the back. It almost feels like leather, but I don't think it is. Uh, but nonetheless, very nice uh, quality. Nice buttons too. Um, lock, unlock, remote start, uh, trunk release, and a panic alarm. It's got a nice weight to it as well, but it's nice and thin. So it'll slip right into your pocket very easily. So all you need to do to start this car is make sure that key fob is in the interior. It's got push button start. So all you have to do is put your foot on the brake and hit that button right there. And the 6.2 will roar to life. So, taking a look at this beautiful leather wrapped steering wheel, we have some really nice stitching, it is very nice and thick, 
So it fits in the hand very nicely. You have some grip notches over here. Nice use of dark chrome and uh, the gloss black with the V logo at the bottom. With a little bit of suede and then the rest is leather on your airbag cover. Very nice airbag cover by the way. Now we could go ahead and start over here. We have um, our adaptive cruise control settings, our uh, forward collision warning, voice commands, Bluetooth telephone, as well as your heated steering wheel control. I don't think we'll be using that heated steering wheel today. It's pretty warm outside. Definitely nice on colder days though. Now over here we have um, our sort of media controls. We have our um, up down for our radio. We also have some controls for our reconfigurable display up here. This is for your track. So this button right here surrounded in chrome, that is for your reconfigurable LCD uh, gauge cluster up here. Very innovative, I absolutely love it. So we're gonna go ahead and go through that a little bit later in the video. Now behind the steering wheel and attached to the steering wheel, so it's gonna move with the steering wheels, not on the column, are magnesium paddle shifters. And they're actual metal, actual magnesium, so when you click it into gear, you get a nice click. Very nice, very nice. So also behind the steering wheel are your lights, turn signals, high beams. You also have your uh, wiper controls right there. And taking a look at our gauge cluster, lots of stuff going on. But we can get even more stuff going on using this button right here. So let's go ahead and go over the basics first. We have temperature, temperatures up there. We also have our rev counter, nice and big digital speedometer. So you know how fast you're going, you can glance down really quickly. Boost gauge right down here, and we also have our fuel gauge. Uh, what gear we're in is right over here, and our mileage, of course. Now again, using this selector right here, we can choose between which gauge we want to uh, reconfigure. It. So whichever one highlights in red, that's which one you're using right now. Now you can put this up and down to see different menus. Now this is a blank menu. We can go down, we have an options list. And clicking downwards on the um, menu button right there will get you different menus. Going down from options, we have a trip computer, trip B, a compass, fuel range, oil life. We also have our tire pressures, our um, adaptive cruise control settings right there battery voltage, oil temperature, oil pressure, and a nice big boost gauge right there. We also have a g-force meter and your tire temperatures. Now if we go over to the other screen, it pretty much shows exactly what the other um, screen will show, um, but you can, it's nice to mix and match, so you can have tire pressure over here, and you can have your trip A over here, so that's a very nice feature that they included. I really like the white speedometer, it shows up really, really nice. There's also an indicator right up there which will show you what mode we're in. Now take a look at how nice this upper dash is. So it's, it's completely soft touch material. We have some perforated leather up here as well. You can also see our heads up display right there where that Escalade just pulled up. Now down here we have our 8 inch Cadillac Q system. Okay, so after familiarizing myself with this a little bit, it's similar to the GM IntelliLink or MyLink systems. Just has a different, little bit different flair to it. You can access the climate control through it, um, for example. That's a little bit different than the other ones. But over here we have our hazards button. We also have our lane keep uh, warning button. Um, we have a parking assist over there, parking sensors, and a glove box release. But taking a look at the screen, we could go ahead and go through some of the functions in case you guys don't know much about this system. So we have an audio system right near it. It's fully touchscreen. And when you do touch down, you get a little bit of like a haptic feedback, which is really cool. So there's our um, uh, audio screen right there. We also have a home button right over here also gives you haptic feedback when you click a button down there and they're not actual buttons they're like a sort of uh, touchscreen button I guess you could say so here's our phone screen again lots of features will be available in that once you pair your phone now 
going back to home we have our navigation screen very nice navigation screen nice graphics it's very nice and bright you can access our climate through the screen we have different users so I, I'm assuming this will go with the memory settings we also have just our normal settings here We have Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and you can swipe over to the next menu. We have Collection, so this is like, uh, I guess, audiobooks and all that stuff. Pretty neat, they included that. OnStar, um, one of my favorite elements of this whole screen is the Performance Data Recorder. So what this basically does is there's a camera that will record uh, when you're going around the track, when you're going around Lime Rocket, it'll record what RPM you're at, what speed, what gear you're in, the G-Force, all kinds of real cool stuff and then what you can do is you can plug in your USB flash drive or whatever you want or an SD card like it says over there and you can uh, save the video of you going around the track which is really really neat um, to me I think all GM performance cars should come standard with this element it's such a great idea now our rear climate, we have an, a totally different option for that because it is a three zone climate control. We have two independent zones for the front and then one for the rear. You can also lock out the back passengers so they can't um, access the controls back there. We have a camera. Of course once you go into drive you can see those cameras in the front. Uh, we also have our Wi-Fi hotspot. Now if we go over here we also have like a different uh, quadrant system so your phone screen is right over there um, climates up there uh, we have our radio and our navigation so it's kind of like a mix of everything so you don't have to go through um, individual screens so we have a bunch of buttons down here mainly for the uh, climate control there is a few different buttons available as well we have an on off button uh, for the audio we also have our volume swipe right there. Now usually I don't like the swipe um, sort of things. I think they should just leave the volume knob alone. But this actually works pretty well as you can see. So that works pretty well and no complaints there. Um, you have a quick home button screen like you saw earlier. Individual temperatures right here for your dual zone climate control. Fan speed and just an off button. Now we do have uh, three stage heated seats for the Recaro buckets. Now if you were to get the normal performance seats, they will be heated and cooled, so just keep that in mind. When you get the performance seats, you're compromising those cooled seats. So uh, again, just keep that in mind. Front and rear defrost, recycling, and we do have an automatic climate control as well. Now, hidden Easter egg in this car. Um, if you just lightly tap down right here, that whole system will lift up, and you have a storage tray back here with a wireless um, phone charger you also have a little LED light in there so you can keep all kinds of goodies in there and no one will even know now to close it all you have to do is just tap it and it is completely powered and it'll go right down that's one of the coolest features of this car besides the noise in the engine that it makes now we have an 8 speed um, uh, transmission here this is our gear selector, completely leather wrapped, very nice uh, little shift boot right there. Manual mode, of course, is that M on the top there. Now we're in park at the moment, but if we put it into reverse, we have our camera pop up. We can choose if we want the guidance lines or not by pressing that button. We could also check out our front camera right there if we were in, let's say, in drive. These are our two curb view cameras right there. Let's put it back into park. Now I'm not sure if you saw the little uh, warning signal right up there. That's telling you that there's someone um, in your blind spot uh, coming across the vehicle. And it actually vibrated my seat just to let me know that if you're in reverse and you're backing up, you gotta stop because there's someone coming or you're gonna hit them. 
down here pretty nice cup holders decent sized and we have a power lid so pretty neat there we also do have a little another storage tray here with a 12 volt power outlet it also has a lid right there but I've got the keys in there now we have our traction control off button right there and a mode selector so we do have a few different modes that we can choose between we have a snow ice mode we have a track mode we have a sport mode and a tour mode now each one of those settings um, adjust the dampers the magnetic ride control and the exhaust so keep that in mind um, the snow ice mode and the tour mode has a quieter exhaust nicer ride smoother ride and the sport and track modes have that um, grumbly exhaust that we all love and a, a little bit of a harsher ride now in here we have an SD card inlet right there for your performance data recorder two USB inlets and a in a aux cord we also have a 12 volt power outlet and a regular household outlet right there so tons of different outlets in this car now really nice felt on the inside of this as well nice and soft on top a little bit of that suede and some stitching beautiful interior I absolutely love it the uh, the quality is unmatched it's um, absolutely gorgeous in here so very cool element up here now this is just our sort of regular mirror we can see our headrest there we have the um, window surround and it's a little bit um, restricting our view so remember that um, backup camera mirror I was talking about when there's two backup cameras if we click this right here it'll bring up that camera that we saw and now we have no blind spots in back of us we don't see the headrest we don't see the window surround we see just what's in back of us so let's do that again isn't that awesome that's one of the best features that GM came out with in my opinion so taking a look up here at the top stack we have some LED illumination on either side we also have our OnStar SOS emergency controls we have passenger airbag some more lighting controls we also have our garage door home links and we have a shade for the rear for the back glass there if you press that button the shade will go up for us automatically you can see that reduces the glare greatly we also have those shades on the back windows as well on the side now look take a look at this um, roof right here I mean it's so soft it's that suede it's the same suede that you'll see over here on the seat so big attention to detail right here uh, another option that is this car is fitted with is this panoramic sunroof so if we go ahead and uh, press this button right here that's for our shade and we could stop that shade wherever we want very nice gives it a nice open feel and then we also have our button over here for the sunroof so we could either vent it up like so or open it completely and we do get a wind deflector up here to uh, help reduce that wind noise Go ahead and close up, close up that shade so it doesn't get too steamy in here. Very nice to see everything that um, power in this car. So sun visors up here, very nice quality. Some vanity mirrors. We also have grab handles that I assume will be used a lot when going around a race track in this car. Lots of horsepower with this car and now. I'm going to try to zoom up so you can see that heads up display over there. You kind of see that's just a speedometer setting, but if you use those buttons down here, we could use that, we can move that heads up display up or down. We could also change the settings. See, we have an RPM gauge right there, speed limit, uh, compass, and it goes back to our RPM gauge right there. We could also adjust our brightness as well. So, overall, beautiful interior. I absolutely love it but now let's go ahead and grab the keys shut the car off we could save them some gas let's go ahead and check out the rear cabin of this car mm -hmm. 
Smarky entry and that LED strip on the back as well. So you have these window shades right here on the quarter window and on the main window up here. Really nice to see that. So same quality as up front, which is really nice to see. You know, you have the soft touch leather. It is soft touch all the way down here back as well. The dark chrome, the carbon fiber, absolutely gorgeous. No lacking of quality back here whatsoever. You even have a speaker over here on the door and a V logo right there. Take a look at the back of the Recaro seats there. Nice suede on the back. Let's just go ahead and hop in and see how much room we have back here. So the back seats almost feel like a bucket seat. You kind of sink right into them very nicely. Uh, pretty good amount of leg room. Uh, the, however, the front seat is a little bit back, uh, farther back in its tracks than I would usually like, and I'm about 5 foot 10. So if you're around 5 foot 10, expect a little bit more leg room in a normal driving position. So, big drivetrain hump right here. I don't think you're going to be sitting a central passenger. Now, we do have a little storage tray and a 12-volt power outlet. We also have our uh, climate controls back here. We also do have heated seats back here. And once the car is on, it'll all light up, and it's the same sort of touchscreen display as in the front up there. Very nice seats back here. Suede with the beautiful Cadillac wings. Nice armrest with some storage. It is felt lined in there. We also get some cup holders and a trunk pass through. We have grab handles back here and some lights, LED, and some coat hooks. beautiful interior. But now let's go ahead and check out the front passenger space. So this door is much like the driver's door as far as the design. It has a few less buttons. See our window switch, lock on lock. Gorgeous carbon fiber and dark chrome, like I've been saying over and over again. So we do have 16-way power seats even on the passenger side. With the four lumber as well. Take a look at that carbon fiber on this side over here. So our glove box release is right up here. All I have to do is tap that right there and we have a pretty decent amount of space in there. We have a little bit, a little shelf right here. Also your SD card inlet for your performance data recorder is right there. It is felt lined as well, which is a really nice touch. Gorgeous car. Really, really beautiful. Alright, so now let's go ahead and check out the trunk space. Now you can open the trunk a few different ways, but for the purpose of this video, I'm going to go ahead and use the button on the key fob. Double tap that button. Now the trunk is not powered, but it also does not need to be powered because you can see it pops right up automatically for you. Just under 14 cubic feet of space underneath here which isn't a whole lot, but it's definitely enough. Now you can see our all-weather floor mats are back here. Trunk liner, I definitely recommend getting one of these. We also have our battery back there. Now lifting up that liner, we have some nice carpeting and a little bit more storage and your tire inflator kit. Some nice tie downs as well. And that seat does fold down 60-40 um, there.
So as far as fuel mileage, we do get 14 in this city and 21 miles to the gallon on the highway, which isn't great, but just consider the amount of horsepower that you're making. And that kind of makes up for it. But we do have a 16 gallon fuel tank and a capless filter. Make sure you put 91 octane in the car as well. So unfortunately our time with the CTSV has to come to a close, but I hope you enjoyed this video just as much as I did. So hopefully we'll see you in the future with our in-depth reviews.